Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I want to give you a few reasons why people don't want to move abroad. Usually or often, you hear people saying, I'm tired to be here. I can't stand this anymore. I want to move abroad. I want to move overseas. And then when it comes down to the time to move, this is some of the excuses that you hear. So let's get started. And the first one is, I'm very close to my friends and family. I can be far away from them. Really? Okay, let's be honest. So, do you really live in the same town when your friends and family live or right next door to each other? How many of you live many families wherever you live, either the US or whatever other country, and they live in a different state, and you see them people, yeah, you talk to them very often, you talk to them over the phone, but really, honestly, how often do you see them? Probably every holiday. Probably you have to take a plane, buy a ticket to go and see them. So what is the difference between taking a plane from here or taking a plane from another state in the United States? And you're gonna take the same amount of time that you, do, that you haven't seen them. Like for example, if you live in Florida, if you have to fly to New York, Texas, California, it's about what, three and a half, four hour flight, depending where you're going. It's about the same distance if you fly from here from Dominican Republic. Like if you are going to Florida from Dominican Republic, it's two, between two and two and a half hours. If you are flying from here to New York, it's about three, three and a half, four hours, depending on the route. So it's about the same thing. So what difference does it make? And I understand that some people have the family in the same town, that they see them very often during the week. But still, if that's something that you really want to do, I think that you should do the, not the sacrifice, but give it a try. Because that is something that you always going to feel like, I shouldn't done it. Uh, but because of my family, I didn't do it. You should try it, then if it's too much for you, you can always, always, go back to your uh, town or your city. And that was an example of how sometimes you feel toward your family when you want to move abroad. But in other cases, is how some friends and family make you feel when you want to move abroad. In some cases, it's that your friends, oh, why you wanna move so far? You're gonna be far from everywhere. What about if something happened to you, uh, family? Oh, you're gonna miss all our uh, family reunions, our birthdays, our party, and all that. So they make you kind of feel guilty for moving abroad or doing the things that you want to do. And at the end, I think it's how they feel. So they make you feel guilty if you be, oh, should I move? Should I move? Should I not move? So I think that is a decision that you need to make on your own, you know, let your family and friends uh, interfere in your decision. What led me to my next point, which is, people think it's dangerous to move abroad. So let's say, for example, people say, oh, it's dangerous moving to overseas or to other countries. And yes, that is that case, it can be true depending in certain countries and in certain areas of certain countries. Like, for example, I'm going to talk about Dominican Republic because that's where I live right now. Let's say, for example, I think, in my opinion, like right now, and the moment that we are living right now, you are more likely to be a target and be killed in US than being here in Dominican Republic. And just in the past month, it's been pretty much shooting. And there have been different areas in different uh, cities, different states, and it can be in a supermarket, in a church, in a school, whatever you are. It's like you don't even know where you can be a target anymore. And then you just can be killed for no reason. You are not even in, just to be, basically to be in your wrong place in your wrong time. Here, for some people that like it or not, that doesn't happen. Then in some places, you say, depending where you are, you can be robbed, yes. Uh, that can happen, I'm not gonna lie. Things can happen over here, but they, you can be killed just to be out in a restaurant, in a supermarket, in a school. That doesn't happen here. <laughs> that doesn't happen here. And I know people probably don't wanna hear that because people, what people like to hear is the negative. And uh, oh yes, that happened over there. So I'm a big kill over there anyway. So that doesn't happen over here yet. Like here, 
things bad can happen uh, to foreigners, especially in tourist area. And if you are mixing with the wrong people, if you are in the wrong areas, things can happen to you. Because people understand and know the tourist area are um, more likely if you are a tourist to be a target for people that are trying to do a quick come up or trying to make a quick morning or whatever. So tourist area are very likely for something like that happen to you. But if you come over here to live and you are staying in a regular neighborhood, just living your life like a regular person, minding your business, not mixing up with the wrong people, the chances are that nothing is going to happen to you. You're just going to live your life like a regular person or a regular Dominican, just doing the things that you have to do. And when I say things can happen to you, I say like things like you can be robbed, uh, you can be a target for a scam, uh, people that want to quick come up with your money, things like that. But the chances are for you to get you set up, to get you killed or kidnapped or things like that. And that is very, very, to not say none, it's very low possibility that that can happen over here. And our next point is, oh, I can move abroad because I can afford it. That is one people like to say very often. And the reality is, for me, you, or depending on your income, let me say, because I'm not going to say everybody can afford to live here. Because anywhere you go, you will need money to live and to survive. That is true. But the, you, uh, the money that you will need to live over here, it will be less, less, less than if you will live in the United States and especially the kind of uh, type of lifestyle that you want to live. Let's say you just want to get out of the United States uh, or Canada or Europe and you want to come over here and just find a place that you want to stay for a while, figure out what you want to do with your life. You can't afford to live here with a very, very uh, low uh, budget a month. But you have to look in area and you have to do your search and you will find a place that you can live with a very low budget. Like for example, I did a video with an apartment that is $300 a month. Uh, that is $3,600 a year. So for some people that wanna figure out their life, I say, I, wanna, I need a year. You can put at least 6,000 US together. There's some people make it when they do their taxes, their income tax, and say, I have my entire year covered for me to figure out what I, do, what I wanna do with my life. With this, I can find an apartment, pay the entire year, buy food, use public transportation, figure out the way, yeah, I wanna figure out what I wanna do with my life. I just want a year for me to raise and live life. You can do that. And probably you say, well, but at least $6,000, I will not live life. It's depending on what kind of life you want to live. But some people just have the freedom, just have the time to think, time to just go to a beach, sit down and relax and have an open mind. That is living. Some of the people living it just to have a whole bunch of money just to go in Spain and bars and, 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 and club and dancing and women. For other, for other, for other people, Live life is something more simple. It's just to have the time that they can have on their own. So you need to figure out what is that you need for you to uh, live your life and then you can make it happen. Like for example, if you take, I'm a for example of places that I have lived because I, I hear that New York is very expensive and I, 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 I know because of other people, but I have lived in Florida. So with 6,000 US, probably you can stay a month or a month and a half in Florida with 6,000 US. So I'm just, I'm just saying, with 6,000, you can come over here, find a place and pay for the entire year and you figure out your life. So those are things to think about it if you have, if you are in that mindset, if you are trying to figure out what you wanna do with your life, if you just wanna take a break. Some people just need a break. I just need a year break to whatever, just to feel good about myself. So those are things that probably people don't think about or they don't think that they can do. But those are things that are possible and that you can do here in Dominican Republic. And my next point is language barriers and culture. People, some people are afraid to that. Okay, I'm gonna go to another country. I don't know how they are. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be 
I'm lonely. I'm just gonna be be able to talk to people to ask for what I need. And the reality is, it can be true because you come into a country with the if you don't know Spanish, especially if you come over here, uh, you don't know Spanish. You say, oh, okay, how can I do this? How can I ask for things? Well, I can tell you this: it's been a lot, a lot, and lots of people they move abroad and they move over here if they don't know any Spanish in Spanish and they are able to survive and do the things that they want to do and then I mean the least you can do is do some sickness <laughs> to, to work it out but I don't see that as a, a reason no an excuse but no a reason not to move because too many people have moved and they don't know the language you sometimes people learn as they go it is good and it's very good if you trying to learn something or a few words or how to explain yourself before you come but even if you don't know that that is something that you can do i mean dominicans you have to say that my dominican people are very friendly people very welcoming and open people even if you don't know the language especially they have this thing uh when they foreigner they tourists they are more uh welcoming uh to foreigners so that is advantage and advantage they uh foreigners have that they usually try to help even if you trying to say something, they try to figure it out the way that they can help you. So that is a good thing. And I don't think that is a point that you can be afraid to move abroad. So in regards to the culture, I understand people don't want to move because I'm going to a different culture and every culture do things different. They move different. They do things different, what they cook, what they eat, what they sell. And all that is different. And that can be something that can be a very hmm, I don't know about that but what I think is if you are willing to move abroad you have to be open and receptive to all the culture how people do this different you can learn from all the culture you can uh, think and see the thing that you are really really missing in life sometimes we are so stuck in our ways and the way that we used to do this in our country and how we eat stuff, and how we do that you are not really seeing what you're missing, or you cannot see things that you are missing in it, probably you will do better. But try to do things a different way. Try to be open and you will see how things can be better. Even the way that you eat. If you come over here, our culture, I mean, we don't eat that much frozen food. Like for example, one thing that to me is that Spanish, that when I was over there, I understand because the lifestyle that you have in the US, and you have two jobs, you have to be here and there. Over there, we eat too much fast food, frozen food, and canned food. It is something that I used to do over there. Here, in our culture, people, real people, eat food the next day. Most of the time, they eat all the food that they cook the same day. They cook everything new again next day. We don't do that much canned food besides beans, I think, and corn and things like that. But just food, like cooked meal, no. Frozen food, we really do with frozen food. I think that is an advantage that if you come, you will be more um, healthy in that regard, eating fresh uh, food and vegetable and know that cans and frozen and fast food. And you have the example of some people that come, they want to live over here, they like certain things, but then when it comes to the culture and the ways that people do things here, they don't want to adjust. They don't, they don't want to change the things that they used to do or that they do over there. And then it is hard if you are not willing to adjust to certain things and change it, it's not going to work. And uh, don't believe because you are a foreigner, because you come over here, people here gonna change the thing that they are used to do for so many years that they just been doing and keep doing it, just because you are a foreigner. Uh, they gonna keep doing what they do. So if you wanna live over here, you have to adjust certain things that you, the way that you used to do it, that way you can make it, if you wanna make it work. Because if you, if you don't, then, at the end, you will feel, no, this is not for me. You will never have to go back to wherever you come from or go to a different place because you will you know, make it work. Or oh, it's gonna be difficult to make it work. And my last point is lonely and uncertain. Yeah, I know this is a point that is uh, very hard for people to make the decision uh, when they think about this. And loneliness, uh, I know that people think, oh, when I go to move to that place, I'm gonna be alone. Uh, I'm not gonna have no friends and things like that but you will be surprised that probably the area 
that you move, you will find a lot of people that are from you, a uh, same culture, that you will not feel lonely or you will be like you are in a place where you don't know nobody. Uh, Sometimes when you move to an area where it's, uh, people from your same culture, you feel more like welcoming, you know where to go, you know the people uh, like and dislike the same thing that you are. So I would recommend in that, in that sense, if it, that's what you're trying to do, you want trying to move abroad, but you trying at the same time, you're trying to be in the, how you say, camaraderie with some of the people from your same culture, do your research. Here, especially here in Dominican Republic, depending on the area, it depending what culture you are, you will see uh, some culture going toward more to one area than other. Like you probably if you go to the Samana, you will see a lot of European. Um, if you go to Punta Cana, you will see a lot of Canadians. If you go to uh, Puerto Plata, you will see a lot of African Americans in that area. So it depends on what culture you are. If you want to stay in the same with people in your third culture, just do a research to see uh, if you want to move to this area. Here in Santo Domingo, I would say people from all the cultures you can find here in Santo Domingo. So in that regard, you just have to do a little research. Uh, in regard to uncertainty, uh, people feel also that they, okay, when I move over there, I don't know what I'm going to find. I don't know if it's a safe place. I don't know if I'm going to find the thing that I'm, I'm used to do, gym. Uh, I like to go and walk in the park. I like to walk and jogging on the street in the morning and things like that. It does, all those things are things that you can do over here. If it does the thing that you like, if you are very, uh, that you don't know or afraid in that part, I would recommend to do a research in area. Like if you want to live here, the things that you like to do, do a research. Okay, in this area, I can do jogging. I can be have a jean clothes uh, that I can go and do my exercise. I have a lot of restaurant. You have uh, this kind of this kind of uh, park that I like. Do your research. <laughs> that way, on certain part, it's not that hard that you feel more familiar with. And what I recommend to do the research more is because sometimes there's certain part for some people it's scary. For other people, it's kind of an adventure. They want to see what is up there, what they can discover, what I can go, what I can do. If that is kind of an adventure they put in their life. So for some people, it's, it's, it's scary. They are afraid of that. So if you do your research before you move to a certain area, that will help a lot with that in certain uh, part. So guys, this is the five reasons that I hear more often or common, and I think that they are very important. Of course, there are many more why people don't want to move or they, why they hesitate to move, and it can be, sometimes it can be uh, insurance, self-insurance, uh, child support, uh, what I hear is so many reasons why people don't want to make the move. But if you are afraid of those things that I mentioned before, it is really easy. If it doesn't work out for you, just go back to your country. If you can afford it, go back. If you think the culture is too hard for you, you can go back. If you think it's dangerous and uncertain, you can go back to your country. If you feel that you feel too lonely, go back to your country. So that is very easy. And I think don't let those points that you are afraid of deter to make that move. If that's something that you really feel that you want to do, that you want to experience. I will say get the experience, do it. And then if it doesn't work out, you can always go back. If you're missing your family, you can go back. So that is really what I have to say. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also share. And I will see you in my next one. And if you have any other reason that you can think of or what is uh, your motive, why you don't make that move, you can leave it down below and share with us. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.